With record sales of 13.8 million in 2014, the U.S. new car market when combined with fleet will reach the 2000 sales level of 17.3 million. Well, I think 2015, um, I don't think there will be any near-term impact on this. It is, you're right in the fact that we're approaching a ceiling, so to speak. Um, this, in 2015, we will hit a record in terms of uh, retail sales, about 13.8 million units. Um, that was last hit in 2004. And we're approaching the 17.3 million units, that's both retail and fleet, um, that we achieved in 2000. So we're, we're quickly approaching those peaks. Um, you know, is the U.S. ever going to be a 20 million unit market? Uh, probably not soon. So the, the pie, if you, uh, so to speak, is not going to grow as quickly as it has in the last several years. Um, and when you look at that in the U.S. And, and you consider issues around vehicle penetration. So according to the OECD um, member nations, the U.S. has the highest ownership of passenger vehicles of any country. Uh, it's um, up towards 500 uh, vehicles per 1,000. So you're getting towards a, uh, towards a very high level of saturation within the industry. Um, that's going to be a limiting factor on growth. The other limiting factor, and this is a more broad trend, is just issues related to congestion within these major cities and, uh, and pollution. And this is more broadly outside the U.S. The globally, we're going to sell some 90 million units this year, we're going to surpass 100 million units globally uh, in the coming years. And when you look at where those units are going to come from, they're coming from markets that are already heavily impacted in terms of congestion, uh, whether it be Beijing, Jakarta, Mexico City, Sao Paulo. All those major cities uh, are very much impacted in terms of insufficient infrastructure, too many vehicles, and, and a degradation to, to the environment. Uh, so something's going to be need to be done. So there's that talk of, of peak car, not something we at J.D. Power use, but I've heard that term out there. But we do see a natural ceiling in terms of how many vehicles can actually be sold. And if the infrastructure doesn't keep up, it will have a limiting factor. That would suggest that the OEs need to start rethinking their business model. Does it become something other than the traditional um, production and distribution of, of vehicles as opposed to other issues around mobility. Uh, we've seen some OEMs start to get into the ride sharing um, portion. I think that's just a, a, a very quick um, reaction to some of, this, uh, some of these um, trends at play. But the broader issue is, do, does a business model for the OEMs need to change and how so? And are they looking more at mobility than just production of, of vehicles? Yep.